Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com. In this video, I want to show you a way to improve your workflow using actions in Photoshop. And this is not just going to make a layer and create an action just for that layer. I'm going to show you one of the best ways to use uh, your, your actions with your camera raw filter. And the reason for this is because whenever you import a photo, that is a raw file. Uh, Photoshop is going to automatically open camera raw for you and there's where you can make your initial uh, adjustments. But some people actually, believe it or not, I don't do it, but a lot of people do actually um, use uh, the camera raw filter with JPEG images. So for those of you who do the JPEG editing, you can actually utilize that camera raw filter uh, and create an action for it of uh, stuff that you typically do to each photo. So the first thing I'm going to do, if you're not familiar with actions, basically actions are like a preset way of, uh, of creating a task basically with a simple click of a play button. And so uh, if, you, if you're not sure about the actions panel, you can see I have it open over here. And uh, if we want to create a new action, we can go down here to uh, the add new action button. But if you don't see this panel, go over here to window and then click on actions and that will display your actions panel. So like I said, we can go over here to this little plus button here and that's gonna create a new action. So I'm just gonna uh, pick a default action here. Uh, that's where you're like, kind of like a folder of where it's gonna be set. Um, and I'm gonna call it um, camera raw. And you can assign a function key, like a shortcut key to it if you wanted to. You can organize it a little bit better with uh, color coding here. But I'm just going to go ahead and click record. Now, real briefly, uh, when you click record, it's not like a recording like as I'm doing now, like a video or something like that. It's recording steps. It's not recording time. So you don't have to basically hurry your way through the editing. Uh, and even if you mess up and delete layers, you don't have to worry about uh, starting over because your action will basically do everything exactly the way you have done it uh, when you recorded it. So let's say I wanted to go ahead and uh, do some basic adjustments to this photo. So I'm going to go over here to my filter and go to camera raw filter and this will bring up the camera raw dialog box we're all familiar with and here I'm just going to do some of my basic adjustments here so I'm going to take my highlights down a little bit I'm going to take my shadows up a little bit take my vibrance up right there. Uh, I might even go to color calibration, play with a little bit of the colors. So let's get a nice uh, beachy looking photo here. Um, we're just playing around here, not doing anything specific. Uh, take my contrast up a little bit. I'll take my whites down. Saturation up a little bit. Clarity, let's go up a little bit with the clarity and maybe add some texture to bring out some of that in the sand. So you can see just a real quick edit. Uh, this was kind of our before, that's our after. And so this is what I want most of my photos to look like, have that same sort of color scheme to them uh, with just one click of a button. So once I've got that done, I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. And that's gonna take us back to our Photoshop window. And here we can go over here to our actions panel. If we wanted to do more actions, uh, more steps we could, but uh, we're just gonna do that one and uh, we're really use a lot, utilizing that camera raw filter. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the close button or the stop button there and that is our action that we have created. So now what we can do is I will go ahead and revert this photo back to what it was and just we have created that Photoshop action there. We can just click on it right there, click play, and boom, there's our adjustment. So basically, if we want all of our photos to have this specific, this uh, very similar uh, photo scheme uh, adjustments to it uh, in Photoshop, we can do it exactly like that with one click of a button. So hope you guys enjoyed that quick little tip. A lot of people don't utilize uh, actions, especially actions with the camera raw filter, but it's a very powerful way and a very speedy way of editing your photos. All right, guys, thank you for joining me in this video. This has been Jordan from Sleek Lens, and we'll see you in the next one.